For this week's Canvas Tips and Trick, we're going to show you how to recover accidentally deleted content. If you've deleted content by accident, welcome to the club. So has everyone else. And Canvas has made it super easy to restore that content. So let's jump into it. So here we are in a Canvas course, and I'm going to go into a piece of content here, this page. And I'm going to delete it from my course. Now we're going to pretend this was a terrible accident. Now the way that I can restore this page, you'll notice it's nowhere here in my pages, and it's not going to be in my modules. So the way that we restore this is we're going to need to look at the course URL. And here's what I mean. So I just scooted this page down a little bit so you can see this URL. This is where your course lives. This is your course URL. Usually it's going to be a few more digits than this. But the way that you'll restore content is you will remove everything after the course ID number. And then you're going to put a slash and then the word undelete. Now, once you have that, you're going to click enter. And you will be able to restore any of those items that have been deleted in your course. Now, you may need to scroll down a little bit to find it, but you'll see when the content was created and when it was last updated. So we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and we see our most recent content. And I'm going to click restore and OK. And that's it. If I go back into my modules, and I scroll down to that particular module. It doesn't replace it in the module, but I can re-add it because the page is available again in my course. So I just have to click on this little plus icon, go down to the page that I deleted, and then I'll be able to find it right here. I'll add it again. And don't forget to republish that item. And if I go back into the piece of content, everything is as it was. Now there's one more thing that I want to mention here. If you go into that undelete section and you can't find the content that you deleted, it's possible that you did something called removing it from the module. Now if you remove something from the module, I'll show you the difference. So let's go to modules. And let's look at this. If I were to click the three dots and I were to remove, that's not actually going to delete my page. Um, what I'm doing is I'm removing it from the modules. That's different than deleting it. So to, in order to, to actually delete something, I would have to go into the page and then I'd have to click delete. Now, if I delete it this way, this is where I can um, go into that undelete section and I'll find it again. So it's always worth, you know, just trying to re-add something to your modules. Um, and if it's totally missing, then check the undelete area of your course. I just wanted to make sure that you guys were clear on what the difference is there. So even though they have the same little trash can icon, deleting the content is different than removing it from a module. Now there's one more, uh, there's one more piece here. If you have deleted something like a, uh, a quiz question bank, for instance, that is not restorable content through that undelete feature. Now there's another way to do that. And again, it has to do with what we do to this URL. So there's another place that we can go to, to see things that are really, really very permanently deleted like quiz question banks. Now this particular tip is really only for very advanced Canvas users. If you know that you're not a very advanced Canvas user, that's totally okay. Let me know as soon as possible that the content has been deleted and you can't recover it, and I will do this for you. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, and if you are a very advanced Canvas user, um, there's something you can do to recover content that appears to be very permanently deleted, and that is to go into the Hartnell beta environment. Now the Hartnell beta environment we can access by putting in the word beta between Hartnell and Instructure.com. Let me show you what I mean. So here I am in the Canvas beta environment, so I've added the word beta between Hartnell 
and in structure. I have to log in again. I use my same credentials that I usually get into use to get into Canvas, um, but it's going to be the same. You know, your course ID comes right here and things like that. So you just add in the word hartnell.beta.instructure.com, and you'll know that you're in the right place because it's going to say Canvas test installation, and it tells you right here it's going to reset every week. Be very very careful with this. Um, and the reason that this is really only for advanced users is because it's very easy to forget that you're in the beta environment and do a bunch of grading and then realize that none of that actually posted to your course and you had to log in to, you know, to the, the regular environment, the heartnell.instructure.com. So if you're advanced, if you're comfortable, this is what you can do. You can go to the beta environment, go to your course, and you can actually export your course content because this is like an archived version from last week of your course right before you deleted the content you can export this course and then you can import it into a sandbox course that you create and when you do that then you can go through the content find things like your uh, your lost quiz question bank and then you can import that into your actual course once you've imported this all into your sandbox in the normal Canvas environment. So hopefully um, that was clear. And if it's not, again, um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to walk you through it or do this piece for you, or at least do it alongside you if you want to see how this works. So that's it for this week's Canvas Tips and Tricks. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out for support. You can also get more help and more tips and tricks like these at hartnell.edu slash PDC slash Canvas. Thanks for watching.